Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shine Plays. Welcome to the wonderful world of Savoy here in EU4 Common Sense. Last episode, we had an opportunity to do a mission to take this province, French Comte. So we've successfully completed that mission. Uh, we are coring French Comte right now. And we're still kind of sitting on our hands trying to figure out what do we do about the, the bear in, in the room, and that is Mr. France over here. He was our ally, and he turned on us. He took a mission to stick a pitchfork in our back, but he hasn't declared the war yet. We're currently waiting for the King of Denmark to die because he's going to lose both personal unions over Sweden and Norway. And we're waiting for the King of Castile to die so that he'll lose his union over Aragon. They're both old, but there's no guarantee they'll die. I really hope they die. Anyone want to be a vassal? I would love to vassalize you guys. No? No? Oh! Yeah, Burn wants to be a vassal. Or, uh, Baden wants to be a vassal. I think I could arrange that. Wow, his development is, is absolute garbage. He has seven and nine. He only has 16 developments in his entire nation. That is just sad. <laughs> Yeah, he wants to be a vassal. Oh, you know why? It's because he's getting invaded. Well, he's getting invaded. Yeah, Palatinate's going to annex him. That's why he wants to be a vassal, because he has no army, and he's being sieged. Makes him very weak. And he's improving relations with us. He wants to be a vassal really badly. He's like, hey, will you please annex me? Protect me. Protect me. Save me, Shen. Save me, Shen. Did I change my mission yet? Prove relations with Lorraine. Yeah, we can do that. So we have a mission to get relations up to 100, 100 with with Lorraine. Should be able to do that, no problem. And, uh, well, hopefully these fuckers die. Piss off Aragon. Sure. I'm fine with pissing off Aragon. National Epic. 20 years of a better prestige. Um, no. Our royal marriage with Naples has ended. He'll he'll offer the marriage back. It's no problem. Group up. You think the king of Castile is going to last a long time because he's a zero zero zero? Yeah. He did just turn fifty five. And the king of Denmark is now sixty three. There's the marriage. Gosh, these kings are old, man. I mean, how old's my king? He's pretty old, too. My king is 65. Wow. We're older than the king of Denmark. And our king hasn't died. But if he does, we're going to have a regency for a long time. We're going to have a 13-year regency if our king dies today. So hopefully the king of Castile dies before my king dies. Because I just need, like, a few days where I can pull a diplomat back and declare war on Aragon. I just need a few days. Come on, Castile, die, you little shit. Oh, if the king of Portugal dies, he gets England's dynasty. He gets the Tudors. Interesting. I wonder if I should marry him and go for a union. Is there any reason not to? I should probably marry him and go for a union. Well... Yeah, why not? We'll be over our limit by one. It's no big deal. I, oh, shit. I already am over my limit by one. Alright, then I won't do it. Damn. Ooh, influential preacher. Gain prestige or papal influence? I'll take the prestige. Thank you. Oh yeah, how is the reform desire going? 46. Not bad. Can I win a war against Aragon? I think so. Because Castile would help me, right? 
I'm pretty sure I could win a war against Aragon. Hey, Castile lost five prestige. Great. These random little events are usually for negative prestige. You can typically count on a, a union to break if the nation's not at war and they're at negative prestige, because the uh, events for positive prestige are few and far between. Like that one we just got, Influential Preacher, it's pretty rare. Now we do have a claim on Genoa, and our truce with them is ending soon, right? Yeah, in two years our truce with Genoa is up, so we could declare for that. Could also get another province up here. Probably go for the iron from Waldstadt. So why don't we go ahead and fabricate on you so we can be ready to declare when the time is right. Oh. Nevaire declared a suicide war and he lost his capital. So Nevaire now exists only in Rethel. Aww. Poor Nevaire. Gosh, I hope my king doesn't die. That would be so bad. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would be really bad. So we have this little shit, 12 years of Regency? I don't want that. I don't want 12 years of Regency. Why do you know has colonies? <laughs> I know has colonies because we don't have anything close enough to even get in the colonial race. The colonial race from this part of Europe would take a lot longer to get started than it would from, from say, Castile, Portugal, or England. They're much closer to the New World. And we are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We are five sea tiles further away than Castile, which is a considerable amount of distance. So we would have to tech up to, like, tech nine, Diplo, before we'd have range to even reach like the very, 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 very first province of Africa right there. That's why. And yeah, it looks like we're on target to be really far ahead on Diplotech, which means I should probably uh, pump some Diplo points into improving Vaud. Or French Comte. You know, French Comte has salt. Perhaps we should improve French Comte because it has salt. Just produce as much salt as you can. <laughs> salt for the salt pyre. Savoy was founded on salt, and it shall die on salt. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. Castile just joined a war against Morocco, which means he has plenty of opportunity to get prestige. I really don't want Castile to get any prestige here. Please don't get prestige. Just die. Just die. You're 56, just die. Keel over. Someone just hit him with a baseball bat in the back of the head or something. Just die. Austria wants help in a war, sure. Who's actually in the war? Alsace, Wurttemberg, Bavaria, and Lorraine. Well, you know, I could fabricate on Lorraine and go eat that. I have a mission to get relations up with Lorraine, and this war is going to fuck up that mission. Let me see if I can send him a gift or something to try to complete the mission, because it's worth completing. Or I could just ally him and then join the war, which would break the alliance. Easy done. There we go, we finished our mission, and we joined the war. So we lost our alliance. Perfect. Get out of there. We finished our mission, and we lost the alliance immediately, which is great. Rival of rival, Byzantium. Really, Byzantium.
or protect against Venice, but no, it's not going to happen. Uh, Byzantium, I could do that. Yeah. 25 Diplo points for getting relations up with this idiot? Sure. Alright, tech up time, sounds good. Tech 7, hey! Now it looks like we're a little late to the party. France is already tech 7. Um, is it just France? It might just be France. France and the Pope. And Milan. So we're not that late to the party. We're like 4th to tech 7. Alright, so what does that unlock? It unlocks cannons. And the next tech is really important. The next tech gives us better tactics. Super important. And more width, so we can put more troops on the front lines. I can't wait. And I think we should build a couple cannons. Cannons are really good right now, because you're, there's only a few provinces in wars that you need to siege. The ones with the forts. There's only a few forts you got to siege in a war. And cannons will help you siege them much, much faster. So they can really make a war go much more smoothly. I think I'm going to get maybe three of them. Alright, we got our claim. His allies are still crap. Now the Ottomans got the bronze cannons event because they're the first nation to hit Tech 7 that has copper. If France had copper, or if we had copper, or... Burgundy, or one of the other nations that was Tech 7, the Pope. If any of these guys had copper, they would get the Bronze Cannons event. But since Ottomans are the first ones at Tech 7 that have copper, they get the event. It's too bad we don't have copper. I would have had copper if I had won that stupid war against Aragon, but no. No. Come on, Denmark, die, you little shit. Nah, I don't care about you too much. Castile, die, you little shit. And don't get any battles. If you don't get any battles, you can't get prestige. Right? It's good reasoning. No battles, no prestige, everyone's happy. What does the event give? I don't remember. I've had it happen to me before. It's just some small bonus, I'm sure. Yeah, Albania is still around. You like that? Albania is kicking it. He's got no no cares in the world. He's even got an ally. He's allied to Bosnia. Die. He's 57. Just die. 13 years of this shitty personal union. It's gotta stop, dude. What the hell is this war for, anyway? The Austrian conquest of Alsace. So Austria claimed Alsace, and he went to war for it. Okay. Ooh, our cannons are finishing. Nice. You like, uh, uh, someone order a, a large cast bronze cannon? Yeah, dude, someone ordered a cast bronze cannon right over here. Holy shit, is that a three-star general? Oh my goodness, Wurtemberg has a 4-4-4-3. Four, 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 that is a serious general. Wow. Do you want to be my vassal? <laughs> oh my, he actually does want to be my vassal. Wow. If I can get relations up with him, that general could be fighting on our side. That'd be so good. Oh man, four 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 three general. <gasps> no! Oh shit! Castile's so close to getting the union. Oh no 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 no! You need to die right now, dude. Oh god, you need to die right the fuck now. What the hell did you get ten prestige from? Some event, I guess. He hasn't. He's not sieging anything. Must have been an event.
Yeah, I'm going to go straight to getting relations with Rotemberg. Yeah, he wants to be a vassal. Oh my god. Oh, I can't, I can't get relations because we're at war, of course. Oh god, negative one. Just don't do any fighting, please. Don't do any fighting. Record French Comte. Go us. Hooray, beer. Novgorod. What the fuck, dude? Novgorod defeated Muscovy, which is a tall order. He took a whole bunch of land from Muscovy. And now he has surrendered to Livonian order. Okay. That makes sense. We're not in crazy land. We're not in crazy land, everyone. This is normal. Fifty admin or eighty duck. I got eighty ducats. Maybe we are in crazy. Are we in crazy land? I didn't get the memo. I think we might be in crazy land. Okay, no battles. No battles. No battles. Please, no battles. Ooh, idea time. Please, no battles. Hey, we accept Ligurian culture now. Nice. Thank you, humanist group. The Pope has declared on Ferrara. And France has joined the war against the Pope. Oh. Oh. France is at war with the Pope. Uh, I should eat Avignon. I should be declaring on the Pope right now to eat Avignon. But I don't want to lose my ally Milan, and if I declare on the Pope, I'll lose my ally. Brandenburg wants help against the Pope. Alright, uh, let me start fabricating. Alright, let me start fabricating and then I'll join. Shit, Milan joined the war. Shit, I'm gonna lose my alliance with Milan here. <sighs> Balls. I'm losing my ally. Alright, step one. Fabricate on the Pope. Step two, fabricate on Milan. God damn it. The Pope, Mil Milan, and, and Lucca. Do I want to fabricate on Lucca? No. You know what? Screw it. I'm not going to fabricate on Milan. Screw it. We'll get our alliance back after the war. We like each other. We'll be fine. All right. Maintenance at half? It is. Okay. Milan, no. That makes me so sad. Oh shit, we need to dock our navy up. Alright, after this battle. I can just dock up in France, that's fine. Oh, goodness. Castile. Oh, shit, we got attacked. Castile, don't get any prestige, please. Just die, you little shitbag. Uh-oh. I heard that. What is it? I gotta log in again. Come on. 
Byzantium says, I will sub if you promise to grow your beard back. Nope, I don't promise shit, dude. I promise to stream. That is all. Yep, look at that. Portugal got a tutor as his baby. Oh, that's hilarious. He got a tutor as his baby. Hey, we have two cardinals now. Go us. Yeah, hopefully we'll get this province in the peace deal. Who's the war leader? Ferrara is the war leader. All right, hopefully we get this province in the peace deal. Oh, hi, Byzantium. Oh, hi. I kill you now? I kill you now. You go squish now. Shit. What? Bawo says, sleep or not to sleep? That is the question. Fuck it. Time to keep on watching Shen until he stops streaming. That's the right attitude, Bawo. We got three more hours to go today. You can sleep when you're dead, Bawo. That's the right attitude, man. Shit. Invictus Byzantium, thanks for subbing. <laughs> that was an idle threat, your donation. I saw that. You gotta stick to your guns, man. Hey, we got a natural scientist. That means if we get a comet event, we'll get plus one stability instead of negative one stability. Bring me a comet. Bring me your comets. Friends, Romans, comets. Can you ever do Byzantium again? Yeah, you can do Byzantium whenever you want, man. You mean, am I gonna play Byzantium again? Eh, maybe. Oh, Switzerland. <laughs> Switzerland, why you do this? Why you do this, Switzerland? Switzerland just a full next Baden. He's such a badass. All right, I'm going to close my eyes, and we're going to take a look at Castile's Prestige. Oh, goodness. It's so close. He just needs to die. Oh, I'm going to get the comet as soon as my natural scientist dies? Yeah, maybe. He's only 30, so he's going to live a long time. We may not keep him that long. But we'll see what happens. I hope we get a comet. I haven't seen that positive stability event in forever. I think the last time I saw it was the Qing campaign. That was a long time ago. That three-star general, that 4443, is roaming around right over here. Hopefully he won't attack my face, because that would be painful. Naples has declared war on the Pope. Cool. So the Pope's going to be devoured here. I think he really stepped on too many toes. No, we lost our claims on Aragon. We have one claim. The plan is, assuming Enrique dies 
and the Union breaks. I can rival Aragon, start fabricating a claim, and declare war. Like, just right away. That's what I want. Before he gets any allies. Now, obviously, I can't do that right now because we're in two wars. We'd have to peace out of both wars before we could rival him. But hopefully we can do it. Cape Verde Archipelago. Ah, I see. But Cape Verde is actually down here. Well, then why is the Cape Verde... I don't know. Why is the sea tile not around? I don't know. Don't know. All right, there goes the walls of Avignon, and Avignon is done. Cool. And I do have a claim there, or I will, so he should give that to me in the peace deal. If I'm a really nice boy, he'll give it to me in the peace deal. Let's go siege Romagna. I was caught fabricating. Damn it. Hand in the cookie jar. Did I get any AE for that? Yeah, I got seven. All right. It's not that bad. I hate getting AE for getting caught, especially at 90%, you know? All right, we got our claim. Now, if he pieces out the Pope, he may give us my claim. Maybe. Does Ferrara have claims? Ferrara has no claims, so he won't be giving anything to Ferrara, probably. Am I trying to PU Castile? No. Yeah, I know maintenance is at half. It's intentional. I don't want to spend too much. going on. And look at that. A battle starts and everyone, every single army, all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all seven armies immediately abandoned all of their sieges to go fight in a stupid battle that they're going to win even without any reinforcements. And that's a really big problem with the AI. I hope that can be fixed because it's, it's, it's bad. You shouldn't have seven people see seven people abandoning sieges to go fight one battle. It's dumb. But that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm in the wrong. Maybe I'm a doofus. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Denmark got really lucky. He got a positive prestige event, and he's 68. So the unions will probably continue now. Oh, he's so lucky. Well, I guess it's because lucky nations are turned on, huh? Anytime you do Iron Man like this, lucky nations are turned on. Yep. Gosh darn it, Denmark. I hope Castile doesn't get that same event. Please, no. Please. Stay negative, please. Okay, still negative one.
Still negative one. He's 59. God damn. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Riga, Ferrara, and Lithuania were sieging Milan. They had the walls busted, they were at like 21% siege progress, and they just abandoned the siege for no reason. None. You're fucking- they're, they're going into Switzerland for, for no fucking reason. What the fuck are you doing? Why do you abandon the siege like that? Fuck. Yeah, I know the timer's up. Let's see what happens, though. Why would he abandon the siege with the walls busted and positive progress? It doesn't make any sense. But the AI does it all the damn time. Oh my god, we have three active cardinals? Really? Venice has the most, but wow, we have three active cardinals. That's pretty boss. He's 60. He's 60 years old. Just die. <laughs> and yeah, Denmark's going to get away with it because he's not in war. He can't lose the prestige unless he gets a bad random event. Ooh, missionary strength, papal influence, or just prestige? I think just the prestige, really. This is so, so close. He could easily get a, an event that gives him positive prestige. Oh, he's actually landed troops here. Oh, shit. That's not good. He's the leader of the siege here. If he finishes this siege, I think he gets like one or two prestige for finishing the siege. So hopefully he doesn't actually siege it. Yeah, hopefully that war pieces out before he sieges that. Okay, they got the walls busted in Milan again. Good. And we got the walls busted in Lucca. That's nice. Our three cannons are doing a lot of work here. Burgundy has unrivaled Austria. He now rivals me. Okay, whatever. And Lucca has peaced out. Okay. Come on. I don't know what the peace deal is going to be. I'm curious, though. Roma is being sieged by Naples. Naples is probably going to eat all of this. Naples is a greedy fucker because he knows that he's not going to get that much aggressive expansion for it. Because it's not in the HRE. Okay, Austria has annexed Alsace. That's fine. Whatever. 
he's pretty much solidifying that he's never going to get any votes for Emperor. Austria rivaled Venice. Good, because I rival Venice. Hmm, we keep failing at 42%. That's not good. God, 6% attrition. That's brutal. Oh, it's so close. What's this? Some random war. All right, it's so close. He's at negative zero prestige. Goodness gracious. Negative zero prestige. It's almost, almost positive. You need to die right now, you piece of shit. You're 60 years old. Just die. Oh, my God. He's going to live, isn't he? He's going to live, and they're going to keep the union. Oh, crap. Tech up time? No, we're ahead of tech. Alright, well, this is a good opportunity to spend some points, I guess. Um, French Comte or Vaud? French Comte or Vaud? French Comte. They're both good. Now, let's do Vaud because it's got no autonomy. So get some... Get some production bonus. And that's how it works. You just click on Admin, Diplo, or Military, and it increases the uh, base tax production or manpower and then it also increases the development level of that province and it increases the cost of further development oh man negative zero he is so close to keeping the union This fucker needs to die. Terribly, terribly, terribly. Someone just needs to mail him some poison. He's 61. My goodness. Okay, the war's over. And Castile did not get credit for that siege. So Castile did not get positive prestige during the war. Oh, that is really good. Okay, so Castile's at peace. He could still lose the unions, but it looks like we need to call this episode here because this is just taking too long to peace out. Thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Shen. You've been you. Castile did not get enough prestige to get his uh, union held, at least not during that war. So this looks good for us. He's got 26 years before this becomes a positive zero. So he's not going to live 26 years. There's no way. Uh, then again, the King of Denmark is 70, and he's still kicking it. He's got no troubles living to 70. Shit. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.